we got grandparents coming up. Grandparents, parents, uh, the entire family is here today. Okay. <clears throat> well, thank you, first of all, for uh, for your patience. Uh, we really appreciate that. My name is Jeff Shan with Crime Stoppers of Houston, and we're here to uh, obviously try to find out who killed Javier. Uh, the, the reward has been raised to $40,000. That's our new announcement today. The police are here. The fine, uh, homicide detectives from the Houston Police Department. They have a lot of new information, a lot of new photographs uh, that we can share with you as well. And of course, we have the family here as well to, uh, to speak with you. So let's get right to it. I'm going to bring up the two detectives with Houston Police Department Homicide Division. They can tell you what's new in the case. Uh, and uh, they know exactly what we need to get to you and to your viewers uh, to try to solve this case. If you guys can introduce yourself and come on up one at a time. Thank you. Uh, my name is Detective Alex Vinogrado from the Houston Police Homicide. This is my partner, Detective Dustin Crowder. As you already know, on Wednesday, February uh, 22nd, there was a shooting at a Subway restaurant here in Houston. Uh, our complainant, Javier, and his mother, Hilda, were working at the Subway. You already know the details of, as to what happened at the Subway. Uh, as of right now, we have developed, we, uh, developed some images from a second subway that was robbed, and my partner is going to describe these enhanced images to you guys, as well as a possible vehicle that these suspects were driving. So, so uh, the pictures of the suspects uh, have been released already. Uh, we're going to show you some different angles that you can see their faces in. Uh, we would like to say that, you know, there's, there's one person in this incident that shot, and there's one that was there with him uh, as far as the suspects go. If the suspect that did not shoot and his family or anybody that knows him or is in his circle is watching this and he wants to distance himself from the suspect that did shoot, we encourage you to call us, give the information. You can call anonymously or you can call and turn yourself in. But because of the publicity that this has got and the reward that's out there, um, we feel that you're going to be caught and we want to give you an opportunity to distance yourself from the person that shot and we know you didn't shoot. Um, the vehicle that he's talking about, we have a video and we have pictures that we're going to show you. Uh, we believe it to be a uh, late model Mazda Protege and it's going to be tan in color or possibly gold. Uh, so that was captured on video and we do have a pretty good guess that that's going to be the car that we're looking for. Um, so I would like to turn it over to the family uh, at this time. You have a few words to just say what it would mean to you and your family to, uh, I know it's not going to bring him back, but what would it mean to you and your wife and uh, your entire family here today uh, to get these people behind bars? We here, we here because we want justice. Javier was a good kid. Javier was stretching his hand to everybody. Javier, he always saw people, I always show since he was a baby to respect people and to treat everybody equally. Javier, it was, a, it was a part of the theater class in school and this year he was about to graduate and join the Marine Corps. Now, to plan my son, I'm not planning my son's graduation, I'm planning my son's funeral. Because these two cowards came and took my son's life the same way that they did, the same way that they, the same, the same, the same courage that they have to kill my son. I, I want them to have the same courage to show themselves and say, I cure your son. I'm here to turn myself in. But y'all know it ain't going to be like that. So that's why we put everything on the detectives. We trust them, and I know they're going to do a good job, and we're going to get them. Javier got support for the whole family. Javier got support for the family, the community. And any clue, all the community out there, y'all watching me right now, please don't hesitate. Y'all see the, the car, y'all see the suspects, please don't hesitate to call Crime Stoppers. Nothing is going to happen to y'all. They murdered an innocent kid, so we want justice. The whole Houston, Texas want justice. The whole community want justice. And that's what these guys gonna get, justice. What is it like to have the whole community behind you guys right now? People you know, bringing money to the table. Uh, does it help you uh, to have your friends, family, and just strangers, complete strangers being on your side? It gives us, it gives us hope. 
It gives hope that everything's gonna be all right. It gives us hope that they looking forward to help us and whatever it is, people, even people from Galveston County came over here and told us for, for the condolence. And so a lot of people from, from Dallas came over here too. Us, us all around Texas, it's even in Rio Grande Valley. I got people in Rio Grande Valley. They showed her in the news over there. So the whole Texas know what happened to Javier. Javier died as a hero because he saved his mama. And that's the way we're gonna remember him, as a hero. As a, as a future Marine that he was gonna be. We'll entertain some questions for both the family, uh, and then we'll get to the detectives, kind of give you an update as well. Ms. Vasquez, can, can you explain, like, what, when you look at those images of those, those men, what, what are you thinking? How can they do that? They could have just took the money. They didn't have to shoot me. They could have took the whole story if they wanted to. They didn't have to shoot my son. What are you going to remember most fondly about Javier? <laughs> Everything. I'm going to miss his cooking, though. His baking. He loved to cook and bake. I love that he always wanted to take care of me. Always be there with me. Yeah, how did it come about that you guys worked at the same store together? <clears throat> he started working there because he wanted a job. He said, Mom, I want to make money. So I called one of my cousins to see if we can get him a job because she worked there. We'll work for the subways. And she, she did. Then ended up Saying they, they needed help. And me, because my son was working there, I'm like, I'll go help you in the afternoons. And that's how we ended up working together. Did you ever worry about anything like this happening? Always. I always locked the doors before the store closed. And the, thing, the store closed at 9, I mean at 10. And only one person had to stay there and clock out, and the other person stayed there by themselves from 9 to 10 or from 9 to 11, the time that it closed. But every time that I worked, I was there with my son. I stayed. I, I stayed there until the store closed with him because I didn't want him to be by himself because I was always scared. Because I knew they had robbed that store a few times already. What would it mean to you to uh, get these people locked up? Everything. It's not going to bring my son back. But I want justice because if they did it to me, they're going to do it to other people. I just don't understand why I go rob something just for two hundred dollars. They want to take a life. Thank you so much. Y'all have uh, questions for the detectives? Yes. Appreciate it so much. Uh, yeah. Tell us about the new video, or I guess it's just different angles or stuff like that. Or well, I was no. Ask also, yeah, go ahead. You, you, know, um, you think these guys are responsible for? Innumerable other robberies? We, we were able to confirm with Hilda that they are responsible for at least one more. The same, they're wearing the same clothing approximately 30 minutes later at Subway here in the Manchos area. So immediately after shooting Javier, they drove north and targeted another Subway. And we believe we're, we're able to recover a video of the vehicle. The uh, video is extremely grainy, but from what we could tell, it's an early uh, model 2000. Maz, that's the grainy video that you have right there. It's difficult to make out the car. My partner and I spent an extensive amount of time trying to figure out what the car was. Our best guess that we can have is it's going to be an early 2000 model uh, Mazda Protégé four-door sedan. It looks like it has original wheels on there, just like in the photo. And uh, it, it's possible that it could have some front-end damage. We don't know because the image is so grainy, but it is very possible it has front-end damage. Just to get this clear, um, so they, the first robbery was the one where, uh, where the shooting occurred, and then they went out to the Correct, car. correct. And the, it, clearly by their MO, they're targeting subways that are located with, within a short distance from the freeway. That, that way they can make their uh, escape pretty easy. What does it say about somebody that can shoot somebody at one place and then go about their business? It says people? that it's no accident, Jeff. There's definitely no accident. You don't go, they knew they shot this kid. 
and they go to another subway to commit the exact same robbery. Luckily, no one there was shot, but it, show, it goes to show where the state of mind is. And in your experience, did these kind of people talk, brag about it, uh, just hoping maybe somebody heard something from these guys? Yeah, uh, I, from our experiences, that they, they will go tell somebody about it. So if you hear anything about it, there's a $40,000 reward. Come forward and call. You can call anonymously. And those two are the only that have been uh, that have appeared in any of the surveillance footage that has been uh, correct. Been correct. Two people. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, we have gotten information that there may be uh, other robberies that have occurred, you know, prior to this and subsequently afterwards that may be related to this. Um, we've got a lot of we got a lot of tips from the community, and we appreciate them calling, and, and we look forward to the ones that we'll get after this. Um, but it is possible that they may be involved in other robberies, and we are looking into that as well. Based on their actions and, the, and you know what they did during the robbery, uh, it's possible that they could be good for a couple of other robberies as well um, in the area and in, you know uh, outside of Houston as well. There was no shooting involved in the second subway robbery, right? That's correct. Why did they shoot? Do you have any idea? In, in my opinion, yeah. uh, you know. Based on the statements that Hilda gave, uh, we don't believe that the suspect intended to shoot Javier. Uh, they don't train on the streets to index your finger, and it's most likely that if you got your finger on the trigger and if, the, if her son Javier tried to save her or intervene, it's possible that he could have accidentally shot you know, while reacting. Um, we're not here to say that these people are bad people. They made a mistake. They made a bad decision. And... If they want to own up to it, you know, we, we welcome that and we can work with them, um, especially the other individual that may not even have even known at the time that Javier was shot because he didn't have a gun and he was not in close proximity. So we, we want to reach out to these people, to the other person that's involved that didn't have a gun. Again, distance yourself from the person who did shoot and we can work with you. Yeah, Absolutely. They, were, they were wearing two distinctive shirts with writing on them. If you saw those two shirts together, the odds are those are going to be our two guys. And I, I, y'all got the description of them. One is a black hoodie with a California Republic, and it has a bear on it. It's in, it's in white letters. And the second is a, it looks like it's a graduation hoodie. It's blue in color. It has yellow and white lettering on it that says we are uh, B16, which is supposed to look like big, and it's class of 2016, so it's possible that uh, they received it from school, it's possible that he graduated from school in 2016, but again, we can only speculate as to how he got the hoodie. Any questions? Anything else? Yeah, go ahead. 